But the dark heart of this shape-shifting world is quantitative easing. The government is insisting on taking billions of pounds out of the economy through its austerity programme. Yet at the very same time, it is pumping billions of pounds into the economy through quantitative easing. The equivalent of £24,000 for every family in Britain. But it gets even more confusing because the Bank of England have admitted that those billions of pounds have not gone where they are supposed to. A vast amount of the money has actually found its way into the hands of the wealthiest 5% in Britain. It has been described as the biggest transfer of wealth to the rich in recent documented history. It could be a huge scandal, comparable to the greedy oligarchs in Russia. A ruthless elite siphoning off billions of public money but nobody seems to know. It sums up the strange mood of our time, where nothing really makes any coherent sense. We live with a constant vaudeville of contradictory stories that makes it impossible for any real opposition to emerge, because they can't counter it with a coherent narrative of their own. And it means that we as individuals become ever more powerless, unable to challenge anything, because we live in a state of confusion and uncertainty. To which the response is, oh dear.